Like a garden snail leaves a trail behind A story snail leaves a tail behind Share our stories and you may find You can tell a story too Hello everyone! And welcome to another Storytelling Assembly. It's coming up for a really special time of year at the moment. It's nearly Easter. Yeah, Easter is an entire weekend that's very special for Christians. And it has three days, the first of which is Easter Sunday, when they remember how Jesus died. And the third of which is the most important one, Good Friday, when Jesus came back from the dead. Hang on a minute. You've got those in a muddle, Chip. Have I? Yeah, because for a start... Friday comes before Sunday in a weekend. And yeah, so Good Friday is when Jesus died and Easter Sunday is when we remember him coming back to life. Now, I understand how Friday comes before Sunday. That bit makes total sense. But if he died on the Friday, why is that called Good Friday? Surely that's Bad Friday and then you have Good Sunday. Ah, well, actually, we're going to tell a story today about someone for whom it really was a really good Friday. Hmm. And perhaps that will help us all to understand why we call it Good Friday. That would be helpful. Well, this story is about someone called Barabbas. And Barabbas was a really nasty piece of work. He was horrible. He stole from people. In fact, he had a whole gang... And he went out with them, he hid on the roads, and he stopped people travelling along, and he took everything he could take from them. In fact, Barabbas was a bandit chief. Now, when you hear bandit chief in this story, can you hold up a gun like this and say, stick em up, stick Stick em up? Should we have a practice? Barabbas was a bandit chief. Stick Stick em up. Yeah, Barabbas was really mean. He loved nothing more than going out and stealing, and he did it pretty much every day. But he wasn't terribly clever. Eventually, he was caught. He became a captured thief. Gotcha! So how about when we say a captured thief, we all go, gotcha! Gotcha. Let's have a practice at that. A captured thief. Gotcha. Gotcha! So Barabbas was a bandit chief. Stick Stick him up. up. A captured thief. Gotcha. Gotcha. And Barabbas was thrown into jail and sentenced to death. Death by crucifixion. Now that was a horrible way to die. It was really painful and it took a really long time. It wasn't all over quickly like having your head chopped off. No, they, they pinned you up to a wooden cross And they just left you hanging there until you were dead. Barabbas was terrified. And as he sat there in his prison cell, he couldn't think about anything else apart from what was going to happen to him. He would have had time sitting there in prison to think about how he might have made a different choice, done things a bit differently, but there wasn't going to be a second chance for Barabbas. He was going to die. So as he sat there, shaking in his prison cell, He heard the footsteps coming down the corridor and he heard a rattle of keys in the lock of his cell and he heard the creak of the door as it opened and there stood the guard ready to collect Barabbas. Right, Barabbas, you're free to go. Uh, uh, what? Free? Yeah, Pilate, he said that the people could choose anyone they wanted to go free, and they chose you, so op it. The, the, the pe- they chose me? Yeah, everyone thought that they were going to choose that Jesus guy, you know, the one who'd done all the preaching, but no, they decided they wanted you to go free, so, well, we have to do what the people want. Off you go. Well, Barabbas didn't need telling twice, what a great relief. Phew! So Barabbas was... A bandit chief. Stick him up. A captured thief. Gotcha! Gotcha. He felt a great relief. Phew! So Barabbas ran out from the jail, really excited because he was going to get to go back to doing what he loved most, stealing from people. And all of those 
people who had said that they wanted him to be free what numpties! Now he was going to be able to steal from all of them. Especially since there was a huge crowd of them standing there, all with their backs to him, as they were watching a man coming down the street carrying a really heavy cross on his back. And as Barabbas watched that man, he realised, well, this must have been the man that the jailer was talking about. What was his name? Jesus. And as Barabbas looked at him, and saw the, the blood all around his head and down his back and all of the sweat because he was having to strain really hard to carry that heavy wooden cross, where well, suddenly Barabbas felt a dreadful grief. So Barabbas was a bandit chief. Stick him up. up. A captured thief. Gotcha. He had a great relief. Phew and felt a dreadful grief. So Barabbas went into the crowd, but not to steal. He wanted to find out as much as he could about this man, Jesus, who was going to die on a cross instead of him. The one that everybody in the crowd had decided should die instead of a thief. But the more that Barabbas talked to people and asked about this man, the more he became convinced that Jesus had never done anything wrong. He was going to die on that cross, but he wasn't a thief. He'd never done anything wrong at all. When Barabbas found that out, he realised that he didn't really want to go back to his life of stealing. He'd been given an amazing second chance to make a different decision. In fact, he felt like turning over a brand new leaf. Start again. again. So Barabbas was... A bandit chief. Stick him up. up. A captured thief. Gotcha. gotcha. He had a great relief. Phew. And a dreadful grief. And he turned a brand new leaf. Start, Start again. again. So certainly it was a very good Friday for Barabbas because, well... He didn't die. But also, he did get that second chance to change his life. And, well, maybe it was a lot better after that. In fact, that is why Christians think of Good Friday as being a Good Friday. Because they believe that Jesus didn't just die in the place of Barabbas, but in the place of, well, everybody else. Giving everybody the chance to turn over a new leaf. Start again. But of course there's more to the story of Easter than just the Good Friday part. Why don't you find out what it is? Or if you already know, why don't you tell your teachers and your friends what you think? Right now though, it only remains for us to say, have a happy Easter and we hope to hear your story soon. So, have, have a happy Easter, Easter and we, we hope, hope to hear your story, story soon. soon.